if you want to know the religion of a man, do not look at how much he prays and fasts. Rather look at how he treats people. Said Jafar Ibn Muhammad al Sadiq, born on 20th April 702 AD in Medina in Saudi Arabia, died on 14 December 765 AD in Medina in Saudi Arabia, was an 8th century Muslim scholar. He was the sixth Imam and founder of the Jafari school of jurisprudence. Jafar Ibn Muhammad al Sadiq said, If you want to know the religion of a man, do not look at how much he prays and fasts. Either look at how he treats, how he treats with that Muhammad Gandhi, Captain Delhi. If you want to know the culture of a country, look at how the people treat the animals. Yes. The way they treat the animals, do you understand the culture of the man? To know the religion, religion means a related thing which is to nature is called religion. Religion, A related thing which is close to the truth. A related thing which is your experience. A related thing which you think what you have, you share it. And you continue to water it. If you like it, you pluck it. If you love it, you water it. That is what religion is all about. That connects you to the truth. And in that truth, you melt you and the nature when it melts. It is called yin and the yang. When you and the nature melts, it is called the, yin and the positive and negative which creates electricity. The yin and the yang, the positive and negative is called the deeper, the bulk of the house, the light unto yourself. Jafar Ibn Muhammad al Sadiq said, If you want to know the religion of a man, do not look at how much he prays and fasts. Do not look at how much he, he works hard and brings money to the house. Rather, look at how he treats his wife. His wife is very important. Whether he talks to her, takes her out to the park, sits with her, hold hands together take baths together, comb her hair, cooks together. That is a real husband, that is a real man. And from there we understand he has got connected. A child which has been taken care of by so many people, which is called father and mother, with so many relatives and so many varieties of food and protected to bring that girl up to that level and then present it to this man. And when he holds hands with her and he melts to become one, we can always see when the man and the woman is sitting next to next. When they eat together, when they pray together, when they take baths together, you can understand there is a light in them. You can talk to whatever comes out from the mouth is the gospel of truth. Jafar Ibn Muhammad al Sadiq, if you want to know the religion of a man, Intelligence of a man, do not look at how much he studies, how many libraries he goes, how many tuition centers he goes, rather look at how he loves his subject and whatever is, he loves it, he puts it into practice in his house. And just simple if he practices his samskriti, like how, how much his mother has taken care of him, hugged him, kissed him, that much hugging and kissing if he has done it with his mother and his plants, you can understand all the books. You don't have to go to any tuition centers. You don't have to go to any libraries. We can understand his intelligence shows you from his body. The body just becomes a magnet. Yes. Jafar Ibn Muhammad al Sadiq said, If you want to know the religion of a man, if you want to know the, the religion of a man, do not look how much he prays and for, rather look at how much he treats the plants and the birds. If you want to know the religion of a man, you can see how much beautifully he talks. If the dogs are barking in front of the house, 
the canoe, he has not taken care of the animals. Yes. He doesn't know to love. A person who cannot love is not a man. He cannot be close to truth. He cannot go, go open his heart to God. Neither God will open his doors to him. If you want to know the religion of a man, if you want to know the religion of the president of Ukraine or the president of America or the president of the Russia, we can understand how much it treats, if Russia treats this uh, Ukraine with love and care. And the Ukrainian president looks towards Russia with love and care instead so of rushing up to America, a third person, to bomb and destroy the whole country. A monkey who got his president post for two years, destroyed the whole country which has built for years. You can know whether he's a man or what. There is no difference between the Ukrainian president and you. If you allow another man to destroy, you have not loved. If you are loved like thy neighbor as yourself, then you, they can, people can know your religion is uh, love. Love is a religion. Jafar Ibn Muhammad said, you all want to know the religion of a man. You can look into the house. I used to take my children to Indranagar and walk up from lane to lane and we'll stop in one of the house and then I will ask my children, look at this house. And the children look at a beautiful, very posh, aristocratic house. They'll say, this is a dappa house, means it's a stupid house. Then I will ask them, why it is stupid? Because it doesn't have rainwater housing. It is not run on solar. <laughs> Simple. He is not a man who buys and pays for electricity bill. He's a man who doesn't know how to treat the rainwater. In Ukraine, in the villages, when somebody went to take a video recording, there was rain and they rushed up to a house. And as they were passing through, entering the house, they saw so many pots lying outside. They asked the house people, why so many pots outside? They said, you do not know. This is Amrit from God. It is ozone, rainwater. Whenever rain comes, we all keep as many pots as possible to fill it up. And what do you do with the rainwater? We drink it because it can cleanse all the diseases from body. We give this water to the cows and cows produce more milk. Can you believe? Simple thing in Ukraine. Ukraine, such a beautiful country and then it has been bombed and destroyed and same you can be bombed and destroyed and if you want to know the religion of a man you can know whether his house is fully with solar that man is called a good businessman otherwise he's a robber like the Germans said how could he build such a big building and so many people are suffering around he must be a robber how could Manipal hospital, Apollo hospital, hospital build such huge big uh, hospitals they must be robbing the patients. Otherwise, they can't build this much. Yes, robbers. If you want to know the religion of a man, look at this rainwater house. In one year, collect the rainwater. You can use it for three years. Yes. Anything he makes in the house, he makes sure that he immediately shares it with the neighborhood. Yes. Jafar Ibn Muhammad al Sadiq said, If you want to know the religion of a man, do not look how much he prays and fasts, rather look at how he treats his people, the way he dresses up. If the way he dresses up, you can know he's a man of religion because he knows what dress goes. A man in the house will not throw the dress left and right and treats his wife as a maidservant so she can fold it. He keeps it back in the exact positions. He is a man of religion. A man of religion is very close to nature, very close to truth, very close to God. And he himself is God. He teaches the children from childhood that he leaves the slippers outside. Cleans it up, whatever it takes, keep it back into position. And he follows Kaisan every one day, every one day, one improvement in the house. Then where is God? It's time to sit outside and bark at us. He's a man who sits with his wife and children. And then he makes sure he discusses, discusses, not throws orders. He discusses to find out what happened today. And whether there was improvement in what we discussed and what we can do for tomorrow. And out of 365 days, 365 days of improvement can we show and the, what profit we made so that we can share it with others. He is a man who knows to dress up, who thinks about his family and then he connects the family to become a joint family and the family tree. As long as you have the joint family and the family tree, 
You don't have to worry about diseases, family sits together, priest together, grows together, family sits together. Diseases think twice, look at the forest animals when they're together, nobody attacks. When they're a little split, this side of that side, attack happens together. It is very difficult to attack you. And together, when you're together, your richness is power. Jafur Ibn Muhammad al say, if you want to know the religion of a man, do not look at how much he prays and fasts. Rather look at how he treats his people. 